first of all, um, thanks for coming. You know, ha happy New Year to everyone. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy a great New Year. I, I first, I, I about our football game, one of the great days that I've had here in, in eight years, um, going to Yankee Stadium and seeing Rutgers Nation out for the pinstripe bowl and I really want to coach Ciano. I was just I was up there with my whole family and it was just an awesome day to be a scarlet night and I thank him for that because during the season here I don't sleep a lot and it's like every game you're on to the next one and I was worried about our guys but he gave me like three and a half four hours of like um, some real joy so congratulations to the football team um, I'm real proud you know of, of that and beating Miami a great great football program obviously and um, I'm thankful very thankful for our crowd today they helped us a ton um, Stonehill made a lot of shots I knew once they started banking threes like from the top of the key I knew it was going to be one of those kind of nights but you know proud of our guys congratulations Stonehill they played well and uh, you know they took you know I told our guys a dangerous team when you take 30 threes in a game or you, you know and then you get a couple that bank in and so to their credit, they did a good job. We did what we needed to down the stretch. Proud of our guys. Never flinched. Huge shot. Cliff, 17 rebounds. You know, Andre playing like a veteran. We made some key stops down the stretch. Our fans were great. Um, you know, so just just really, uh, really pleased to, you know, leave here today with a win. Uh, we needed number eight, and we got it, and um, we'll learn a lot from it. Steve, what is, uh, what is Jermichael Davis? And what is his prognosis to return? Yeah, we, we obviously uh, need him back. And, uh, you know, he, he didn't practice this week. So we're just hopeful, you, you know, soon he um, has bone bruise. And uh, those aren't, those aren't um, easy kind of injuries. So uh, we miss him and, uh, you know, hope to have him back soon. Bone bruise in his leg, the arm. Where's the bone bruise? Yeah, in his leg. Steve, you guys shot 25% from the field. Seemed like the struggle offensively. Yeah. Are you concerned about where this team is I, offensively? I actually loved the shots we got today. So I, I'm, I'm going to watch the film, and I thought we got wide open looks. We obviously got to finish some of those. I do think we're a better three-point shooting team. Um, they give you threes. And then I thought our guys got a little tentative. I liked Andre teed them up. A couple were in and out. Um, you know, so I, I, when we get good shots, I don't worry about it. I want to make more free throws. That's what we've kind of focused on. I was thankful that, you know, we got 20 offensive rebounds when you miss as much as we did. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to win games like this when you're not making shots, figure out another way. And, and you know, old fashioned kind of Rutgers game, you got to figure out a way. And, uh, but I watched the tape. I did like, I thought Milwaukee got a great open look. I liked Andre's open look. You know, like I think those guys can really make those shots. Noah is another guy that can make shots. I got to get him teeing it up. I love that he teed it up. Derek at the end with a big smile after. And, uh, you know, so we got to get better, obviously. We got to make more free throws. I think that's a huge key for us moving forward, and we can. Chris? Coach, um, your guys sort of got a, more of an edge in the rebounding battle as the game went on after Stonehill sort of had the edge the first few minutes. Just how, what did you see and how the rebounding matchup sort of evolved as the game went on? Well, I mean, the one thing when you are taking, you know, that amount of threes, they're long rebounds, you know, and Jay Mike is a long rebound track down guy. You know, we weren't getting those long rebounds. We really weren't. We talked a lot about it. We knew about it on film. Second half, we gave up four offensive rebounds, so we did a much better job. First half, 10. You know, but, you know, we addressed it at halftime, and, and we knew about it going into the game, too. And, you know, they got some, we got a couple unlucky bounces. We got a couple that we had in our hands, and, you know, we, we, we fell out of bounds while went out. So, you know, we got to continue to get better on the backboards, that's for sure. Um, now, we did cause a lot of turnovers, too. So, you know, you got another team to commit 17 turnovers, so you can't rebound that. And, and other teams get, you know, we miss a lot of free throws. They get opportunities to rebound that we don't. And they made all their free throws, I think, 12 for 14. So you can't rebound their, their, their missed free throws, but they can add rebounds to their stat sheet on our missed free throws. Cliff had 17 points and 17 rebounds. What did you see out of his performance tonight? I loved it. I loved it. Stayed the course. He had to guard, you know, there were tricky lineups because he's now guarding, you know, this guy has to go from Zach Eadies of the world, you know, to, you know, to smaller players. You know, he really has to do an unbelievable job in his preparation. And, you know, I love the fact that he got 17. He just hung around there and he had some huge defensive stops for us too when his knees are bent. You know, I think he's one of the best defenders 
you know, in the country. But that's a real different matchup for, for a guy like Cliff. Cliff drew 12 fouls. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Uh, are you okay with this team shooting 28 threes when they just can't handle Cliff like that? Is there a yeah, there? yeah, you have to. I mean, now, everyone shoots more threes against a team that plays 100% zone. And, and, and quite honestly, I, you know, Cliff did a good job of keeping a lot of balls live and stuff. Um, they, they were doubled down on him at times, too. They did a good job of, of, of keeping him there. But... Um, you know, Cliff got to the free throw line 20 times, so there's a lot of points right there on the board for him. And I know he's a 75% free throw shooter, so, um, you know, he could have had a 25-point night tonight with 17 rebounds. Is that his career high, 17 yeah, rebounds? Yeah, 17 you know, high. Cliff, congratulations, 17. That's a good job by you. All right, new career high. You talked a little bit earlier how you liked a lot of the shots that your guys were getting. Just as you head into Big Ten play in a couple of days, just what do you hope to see in terms of, you know, getting your guys to – Hit those shots. I'd like, like them to go in, so I'd be a big thing. But if we get those same shots, I got a lot of confidence. If Andre, I think Andre, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, and, and Andre does a good job. We come in, and you know, I think he took. Did you get ten threes up today, Andre? Yeah, All right. And I'm gonna tell you, eight of them were really good, and maybe a ninth one pretty good too. So I'm gonna look at it, and he'll look at it too. And you know, when he gets good ones, I want him to shoot it. And you know, I think he had a couple looks that were in and out too down the stretch, but. I'll look, see if we got good looks, you know, and if, if we didn't, we got to make some adjustments. But free throws are always good looks, so we have a chance to make all of them. Just in general, how do you feel like this team is at entering Big Ten play? Yeah, we, we need Jay Mike back, too, like we need everybody. Yeah, and so I'm excited about Big Ten play. Yeah, I think we played Illinois, the best team in the league, with the best player in the league at that time. Um, and now we got a chance. we got to go on the road, play a really good Ohio State. We obviously have to play better. Uh, but I like the result today. Uh, wasn't uh, and, I, and I like the fact that the fans stayed. So we gave them their money's worth today. They couldn't leave early, and they had to stay till the very end. Exciting, exciting. Going back to yesterday, you watched a couple of your signees play: Lathan Somerville, Ace Bailey here at the rack. Just what was that like for you to see that? And I mean, it was great. Rutgers Nation, you know, came out, and we certainly were very excited about very excited about these guys. Being and, and I'm really excited. The great kids. Talented, you know, talented players, and uh, you know, excited about you know the future. Steve, what does it tell you about Derek that in a game where the lid was on the basket for everybody, he steps up and hits that shot? Ah, uh, I mean, just real proud of him too. And you know, he's he's been coming off the bench. We got a three guard rotation. He's a starter, obviously. And uh, without Jay Mike today, he had to log a ton of minutes. Noah had to log a ton of minutes. Um, you know, so was just real I thought he was aggressive from the start I also a huge key to the game um, and I watched enough film on him Tony Felder number 10 is is a really good player uh, for them and he was a guy we really were concerned with and, and these two guys between Noah and he and, you know he went three for 20 from the floor so we took out their best player that's always a key part of it too so not just the shots went in it's the defense too that you play and you know Derek was able to do a really good job, but we had a lot of faith in Derek and a lot of confidence in him, and I love that he teed it up. You know, he loved that he teed it up. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Happy New Year.